Choose life. Choose a shop. Choose Trago Mills. Choose pet food, skirts, suitcases, sketchbooks, beige trousers and tins of biscuits all in the same bit of the store for some reason. Choose Christmas opening times, when it's normal for shops to benefit from the Boxing Day in January sales and not leave it till at least the 6th of January until they open again. Weird. Choose Trago in the 1980s, when the combined toy and sports department had a plastic spider on a string that they'd lower down from the ceiling to scare anyone coming in. Ace. Choose Trago. I chose not to choose Trago. I chose the range up Trilithic Industrial Estate. And the reasons? Well, they've got quite a nice craft department and they don't make you pay for your carrier bags. Do you remember Gus Honeybun? Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Oh, I used to love him on Television Southwest with all those birthday cards. Jumping up and down, bunny ops and all that. He was good though. I sent him a card when I was eight, read it out, everything. What's the matter with you lot? It's just that, well, I know you keep going on about him. What's wrong with Gus Honeybun? Gus Honeybun was rubbish. The lowest of the low. The scum of the bloody earth. I sent him a birthday request card to TSW on three separate occasions and he never read any of the buggers. Some people hate Ed the Duck. I don't. He's just got a squeaky beak. That's all. At least he's not got a psychedelic backdrop that goes mental every time you push a button, which makes you feel like you're in a nuclear holocaust or taking acid. And his head fell off once, which no one seems to remember apart from me. It's a rubbish state of affairs to be in, Lionel, and no standing in a field waffling on is going to do anything about it. Oh, I love working. I do. I used to work in an ice cream van at the point of Falmouth until it closed down. Before that, I worked at Gobbles Model Railway until that closed down. Years ago, I worked at Flambars until I got frisky with one of the mannequins and got thrown out. And recently, I've just worked at Paradise Park and I punched a flamingo in the face. There's no jobs in Cornwall, none at all. Can you name one place that's worse to work in than Cornwall? In a word, Devon. And there he was. In Falmouth's Club International, with the sticky carpet and the smell of sweat, but it didn't matter. He was after a girl, looking for a lovely girl he could spend the rest of his life with. Would he find her in Club International? Probably not. Is it her? No. Here, doesn't she work down Superdrug? This was not going to be an easy night. And then there she was. Radiant. Beautiful. Who was she? What was her name? She walked like an angel but had a head like a human. Weird. Where did she come from? Oh yeah, she's from Camborne. We're gonna look after you, son. Maybe I should go back to the chiller. No supermarkets for you. No chiller cabinets. It's just bakeries from now on. We're gonna beat this together. I've got the shakes. The fever is not here yet, but it's in the post. The trouble is you get hungry, and then you end up eating things you regret. But you have one. You gotta have another, and then you get addicted. <laughs> All right. Well, this is good enough. You sweat that ginsters out your system, boy. Because if he's here when I get back, I'm not gonna be best pleased. Cheers. <gasps> Oh, it's such a Cornish day I'm glad I spent it with you Oh, such a Cornish day You just keep me hanging on Yeah, hang on a minute, my love here, right on, hang on. Lovely. 